Today in class, we began working on an assignment called the Snapshot Autobiography. This assignment is building on our understanding of what counts as history. So essentially, how is history classified as important enough to be taught in schools or included in official historic records? Last week and then on Monday of this week, we really dug into how a person's personal preferences and biases can impact what they think is or isn't important in terms of history. So we're gonna to continue to think about history from this broader zoomed out perspective by now practicing creating our own historic documents and then using those documents to begin learning about four major historical thinking skills. So we'll be shifting from just thinking about what should be included to history and look at it from a perspective of how to think about history. And it is my hope that these skills that we are gonna practice will help us avoid some of those biases or some of those mental traps that the historians that have come before us have fallen into. So in order to do this assignment, you will need to log on to the OneNote app. You'll need to go to the tab with your name. I'm using my practice account, Miss Dalton's name. You'll go into the Assignments Graded tab. You will only have one copy of this document. I just have two. So in class, we completed the brainstorming section. Since we are creating these historic documents and we're eventually gonna use them as a summative assessment, which is similar to a graded test assessment of our historical thinking skills, I wanna make sure that we have documents created that are going to help us be as successful as possible. So we will be going through the writing process. In class today, I set a timer for two minutes and had everyone do a free write where they brainstormed important or memorable events from their life. Um, it can be a wide range of different things. What is important to you might not be important to me. Um, so I don't want anyone to fall into the thinking that they don't have anything important in their life to share. After two minutes of brainstorming, we spent five minutes kind of focusing our thinking in, where we took two or three of our events from this first list and then started trying to think of specific details about them. When we were doing this focusing our thinking activity, hopefully it helped students realize that some of their events had more details than others. So some of their events are going to be better suited for this assignment than others. We then did some breakout rooms to help guide our thinking even further. Those questions are available on the lesson page if you would also like to take some time to reflect on what you might have done in the brainstorming and focusing your thinking section. Then we ended class with the writing assignment itself. Students needed to pick just one of their memories and write five to seven sentences that um, were very detailed and helped the reader, specifically in this case, me, uh, feel like I was experiencing the event firsthand. We will eventually share these writings with other students in the class, so adding more detail and adding in your personality will only make it more enjoyable for your classmates to hear or read your stories. For homework, students are asked to interview someone who was a witness to the event that they selected or perhaps knew them at the time the event happened and could give some um, details or insight about what the student experienced in that event or in that memory. So when we say interview, we don't mean like a specific, very formal, boom, 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 question after question interview. This question could be very laid back, um, as easy as texting, FaceTiming, Discord chatting, walking up to whoever also experienced that event and saying, hey, remember when this happened? How did you remember it? Or how did you experience it? And then making a bulleted list down below. Students also have the option of using the insert um, audio feature. However, I would like if they use this feature for them to summarize what they think are the most important details from the recorded interview. Now, perhaps a student doesn't have someone to interview. That is perfectly okay. You can practice a little bit of creative writing 
and become a character or an actual person that would have experienced that event or memory alongside you and try to imagine how their understanding or their experience of the event would have been different. These last two questions we will do in class together. However, if you want to work ahead, you are more than welcome to.